Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Lauren and today I will be recapping the second episode <laughs> the second episode of The Bachelorette with Jojo. I'm just gonna jump right into it because there's a lot that happened this episode and I don't have time to just do some little chitty chat, chitter chatter, pity pat, patty whack stuff. We're gonna get right into it. So I have my handy dandy laptop that I always take notes on and my mom was like, Lauren, why are you even watching this? Why are you on your laptop? I'm gonna turn off, I'm not gonna watch it. And I'm like, mom, I'm watching. I tr trust me, I am watching. I am writing down the entire episode right now. I'm watching it. Also with me um, is my stained glass rose. I don't know why I have this. Well, I do know why. My dog's hiding in the pillows right now and he looks so cute, wait. What are you doing? I guess I'll be using this to get my point across. Like, boy, you be doing some dumb stuff right now. Anyway, I don't have time for that little chitty chat. I'm trying to recap this thing because there's a lot that needs to be talked about. So let's get recapping. I'm all of a sudden Harry Potter. With every season, there is a villain. The one who the audience hates and the one who everyone in the house hates. And that is Chad. And within five minutes of the episode, like Chad's already proclaimed himself as a villain. He's not saying like I'm the villain, but you know like he's the one who's just gonna be talking mad shit throughout the entire season. Like that's it, or as long as he lasts. Cause who knows how long he's actually gonna last. So we now have our villain of the season and it's Chad if you haven't noticed. It starts off with a group date. And on the group date is like a bunch of people who I don't even know because it's the second episode, but the main people in this group date who they pretty much focus on the most, the most, the most is Grant, Luke, and Wells. And it starts off with the boys all out of the house and like a car catches on fire and then Jojo like hops out of a fire truck in like a fireman's outfit. She's got like this big old hose and she's like hosing it down. And every man in the house acts like they've never seen the whole hot girl in a firefighter costume being all hot and using a big old hose cliche shit before and so they're like making a bunch of jokes like Man, she could put my fire out and stuff like that and it's just like NEXT! Damn Daniel makes a joke about hoes. Um, and it's really not funny and his jokes just need to stop because no one understands what he's saying. The whole premise of this date is they go to like a firefighting station or whatever it's called and they have to do all these like these obstacles to try and save Jojo and whoever saves Jojo is like the winner and can save her life and from a burning building. So the thing about this is there is a guy on the date who is an actual firefighter, which is Grant. So I'm thinking here and I'm sitting like, <laughs> boy, this is gonna be so embarrassing if you lose. So they're doing like pre-training. Wells, that's a guy, his name's Wells. He's like about to pass out. Like he's like, they're like, oh, he's not looking good. He's like, in the heat's getting to him. So he's like sitting down, she's coming up and talking to him and I'm thinking in my head, wow, what a great idea to get some one-on-one -on -one time is to pretend like you're about to pass out in the heat and you're a little weakling amongst the other boys. But I don't know, I like Wells, he's kind of cute and like he's not afraid to make fun of himself, which is a good thing to have in a partner, Jojo, so keep that in mind. So it's pretty much down to, it gets down to Wells, Grant, and Luke who have to like compete and I'm like why the hell are you guys putting Wells in here like he literally almost passed out just from practicing you think he's gonna be able to complete this obstacle course so Wells gets pretty much left in the smoke <laughs> get it smoke fire so Wells is like behind no one really cares and it's between Grant and Luke Grant wins not surprising at all because he's a firefighter so he should know this and if he lost I would say fire him from his job and then the whole time it spent Luke complaining about, oh, I wish it was me and it was Grant and now she doesn't think I can save her and I'm gonna be a good husband because oh, I couldn't save her and all this stuff. I don't know what that accent was. And I'm like, dude, did you forget it's a competition? Like there's literally five other guys who didn't even get to like compete and you're complaining that you came in second? like. It's a competition. 
And then after the whole like obstacle course, they go on to like dinner or whatever at night. And she kisses like five guys. Actually, I really don't know how many she kisses, but she kisses a bunch of boys. And I'm all you can hear is like their spit swapping. I'm like, this is disgusting. Like, I don't mind the kissing, but like when you can hear that, like, no, get it away. Stop that shit. I don't want it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to be reminded that I'm not kissing boys, that I don't get to kiss five boys in a day and it's okay for me to do that. Don't remind me of that. Back at home, all the boys are like getting along. They're singing like little campfire songs and the lyrics are very intricate and they're like, Jo, 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 just ostracizing himself from the group, which is making him look even more like a douche at this point. Alex is hot as hell, just in case you guys need to know. And Chad's like talking about how the guys are singing songs about her now, it's weird, and he's like, Dude, like we hardly know her. Like, why are they singing songs about her? And it's like, did you forget why you're here? Like, did you forget you're here to literally date her? So the one-on-one -on -one date card comes. Derek gets the one-on-one -on -one date card, and Jordan is salty as hell. So the date date with Derek, it was pretty cute. Their idea was like decisions and decisions. The idea was like decisions and stuff. Jojo is boring as hell no offense jojo like love you girl you're doing good and your boys are hot but like so at the one-on-one -on -one date with derek when they're eating dinner she's like so tell me about your last relationship what happened why did it yeah i don't really open up or really talk about it what happened but pretty much i was in a relationship and we really loved each other and i was ready to settle down but there was the third person who got involved Oh yeah, I know exactly what you mean. When I was on Ben season, he told me he loved me and stuff, but in the third party was like Lauren. And so I was thinking like, oh, we're gonna get together and we're gonna be married, but she was that third person who just got in between our relationship. So I know exactly how you feel. This is exactly why I don't open up to anybody. Their date was boring. He's boring, she's boring. Next. So back at the house when Jojo and Derek are on their date, it's just more songs about Jojo. Chad complaining, Chad and damn Daniel talking and having a conversation that I literally cannot decipher nor understand what they were saying about protein shakes. If you like mixed all the guys in the house in a protein shake and you get a protein shake, like it won't even be a protein shake because they're like weak. Good one, Chad. It's a good one. I honestly just think damn Daniel and Chad should date. They seem to be really in love with each other and working out in protein shakes. Alex is still hot as hell, by the way, just in case anyone forgot. Just throwing that out there. So here comes the second group date. And the second group date, it was like they go to the sports center thing and they have to like compete to like her love or whatever. Chad is literally talking crap about every single guy participating in this date. And it's like, bro, like you were here for her to date her, for her, like you're not a little gym amongst these, or like a little pretty diamond amongst these like rocks. Like these boys are gorgeous too. You're hot, but like you're not the special one. They have to fake propose to her and she's like, oh, like what do you love about me? And they're like saying like, Oh, I love this, love that. Like, just going along with it. Like, it's pretend, and Chad's like, oh, oh, yeah. oh, I don't love anything about you. I don't know you. These boys are, they're freaking weird. Um, you're being naggy. He calls her naggy. Like, a proposal and naggy. Like, that's not what you do. And I'm like, oh, no. And then Chad also says, Well, they're being crazy. They're acting like she's about to jump on a plane and go to Malaysia or something. Chad, have you seen the show? Like, it's possible. Like, she could any minute jump on a plane and go to Malaysia, like, and leave you there. Now, at the rose ceremony, Alex is called first because <laughs> he's hot. And Chad's like, The only reason why JoJo picked Alex is because she doesn't want America to think she hates short people. Chad... Don't you start on Alex's height. He may be little, but he's hotter than you. Ooh. So pretty much the whole rose ceremony is her calling boys. I don't even know who went home because they're so irrelevant. I'm pretty sure damn Daniel went home. I know Will went home and Will was like, he's kind of cute because he's like a nerdy. And Chad's just talking crap the entire time about everybody. He gets called last, but he still gets called. So Chad's making it around and obviously they're gonna keep him around because he's entertainment. Um, so pretty much, 
the boys are pissed that she picked Chad still. And then Evan's like, bruh, get the freak out. And I'm like, dude, you are 30 years old. It is okay to cuss. And the whole episode ends with Chad once again talking shit on everybody. So that is it for the second episode of the recap. Um, I will obviously be back with episode three. Next week it's a two-part episode, so I'm really looking forward to this. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and watch The Bachelorette if you don't watch it already. Um, I hope to see you next time, and I hope you enjoyed. Bye.